it comes with a territory of being manager of Manchester United that you should expect to be under pressure at all times. Even when things are going well, people will find something wrong with your style of play. And when things aren't going well, like Manchester United right now with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, there will be intense pressure on you from all aspects. Now, speaking after the Everton game, Gary Neville, he spoke about Cristiano Ronaldo and him walking off the pitch and, and sort of muttering to himself. I want to speak or well, take a look at what Gary had to say. Give my own opinion on whether I agree with Gary or not. And I want to know from you in the comments. Do you think that Cristiano Ronaldo's actions there, do you think they added any sort of more pressure on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Or was Ronaldo just, I don't know, being Ronaldo? You let me know what you think in the comments below. And before I do get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. There's plenty of videos going on here. There'll be lots during this international break as well as we take a step back and assess United. But let's take a look at what Neville said about Ronaldo. What did you make of Ronaldo stalking off at the end, having been brought on as a substitute and the game going away? They didn't win the game. It didn't seem to fit in with perhaps what uh, conventional watching of football. Um, you don't see players. It seemed a personal statement rather than a statement for the team. Am I being unfair by saying No, that? you're not being unfair. I, I watched the game. I watched him walk off. Um... I can't say I like it, because I think that when you're... Look, does, is Cristiano upset when he doesn't play? Yes. Is Cristiano upset when he doesn't score? Yes. Is Cristiano annoyed as hell when the team don't win? Of course. Now, the first thing I want to say there uh, to what Gary said is, of course, Ronaldo's annoyed. I genuinely, I mean this, I think Solskjaer's decision not to start Ronaldo was vindicated by that first half performance. I thought we had a very controlling first half against Everton, so many of you can say that, oh, you can't drop Cristiano Ronaldo. Martial came in and scored. Yes, he didn't play in the pressing system, but United were controlled in that 45 minutes. And Solskjaer brought Ronaldo and Sancho on before the 60th minute. We have more than enough in that second half to control the game. And I don't think anything was thrown away in that first 45. So I don't think Ronaldo can really be frustrated about that part of it at all. We know those things. He doesn't have to prove that. So he walked off the pitch muttering to himself, which in some ways leaves, throws the sort of questions up in the air. What's he saying? Who's he annoyed with? And it can only come back to the manager. So I do think actions like that, Cristiano's smart enough to know that will bring real pressure on the manager, more pressure than he's already under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But I'm not sure here whether I completely agree with Gary Neville on the fact that it's going to put Solskjaer under a lot more pressure. I think Solskjaer is under as much pressure as he possibly can be. And obviously you can say that oh, the players can start to mutiny, the players can start to go against him. That won't happen. And I've said this all along, man. Solskjaer is safe in his job. Right? Mike Feeney getting the contract, Carrick and McKenna getting contracts, questionable. All three of them, really. But Solskjaer is safe in his job. And I don't really think he's going to be feeling any more pressure, really, from anything that any players do like that. And maybe I'm being naive there in saying that. But remember what Solskjaer said in his pre-match press conference ahead of Villarreal. No, the, the pressure, that pressure is a privilege. Uh, you know, to, to work in this environment, you have to uh, embrace that pressure. He said there that the pressure is a privilege at Manchester United. Now, it, it certainly comes with a territory. I wouldn't say it's a privilege, but it's part and parcel of the game. And it's part and parcel of being Manchester United manager. I just, I think people are trying to look into this too much with Ronaldo, if I'm being completely honest. I think he was more pissed off and frustrated with himself than he was with, with obviously he was pissed off with the team, with the overall result. But Ronaldo is Ronaldo. Ronaldo is the greatest of all time. Unless you're winning, he's winning every single game. He's going to be pissed off. Unless he's scoring in every single game, he's going to be pissed off. I don't think that necessarily immediately puts points the finger towards Solskjaer and increases the pressure. And, and that's where, as I said, I slightly disagree with what Gary had to say. It is what it is, but I think that that's just something that just has to be managed in the next couple of months. Cristiano's not always going to score. He maybe can't play every single game. But I think if he's going to walk off like that, it's going to put immense pressure on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. More pressure than he's already under. And there's no doubt the talk after the game yesterday was about the manager. You know, he's got these collection of players. They haven't got a style of play. They haven't got this. They haven't got he that. He didn't pick Ronaldo. <laughs> he didn't pick Ronaldo. But. But this next bit here, I think this is probably the interesting part that Gary had to say. I think he has to make sure that he manages Cristiano in such a way. And we will do. He's managed Paul Pogba for the last couple of years pretty well, Ollie. I think he'll have a word with Cristiano and say, look, come on. You know, 
if we're going to do that, let's do it in the changing room because ultimately you doing that on the pitch does bring that extra pressure. He has got a massive reputation and I don't think it would have helped Oli in that situation. But on the other hand, Cristiano's not going to be... He's, He's not, he's not a sheep either. He's not just going to follow and say, oh, I'm not going to show anything. He will, he will demonstrate, I think, his, his dislike and his, his, his lack of yeah, happiness with that situation. As I said, that part there is probably the most interesting aspect of it. I think Solskjaer will probably speak to Ronaldo behind the scenes. But at the same time, you want your players to be pissed off when they aren't winning. You want your player, maybe, maybe it's the fact that he did it in public. And Solskjaer, we know, is a man who keeps his dirty laundry behind closed doors. He's not, so, he's not someone to throw any player under the bus. If he's got a problem with someone, he's likely to take them into the dressing room, put an arm around their shoulder and sort it that way. Whether or not you agree that that's the right style of management, that's what Solskjaer does. But this Ronaldo situation for me, it's a bit... Um, I think it's being blown slightly out of proportion. I think, of course, Ronaldo's going to be pissed off there. We just drew one all against Everton. Ronaldo is every United fan there. We, we should have won that game. We were in control in that first 45 and we threw it away with a terrible bit of defending. A poor play to concede from a corner. Ronaldo's just venting his frustrations against the result there and ultimately venting his frustrations against the manager because the manager is in charge of that result. So in that sense, yes, maybe there will be a little bit of pressure. But I personally think that people are going way over the top here by trying to suggest that this is going to crank the pressure up on Solskjaer. I think he was vindicated. By the first 45 minutes of United to rest Ronaldo. I think he brought Ronaldo on before the 60th minute with Sancho and proactively introduced him into the game to maintain momentum. I thought both of those decisions were correct. Ultimately, United just could not do it from that point. We had all the players on the pitch at that point, apart from Pobber who came on later, a little bit later on. There's no excuse for what happened in that second half. But to try and suggest that, that Ronaldo there, may that might he might be publicly showing anger to try and add pressure onto Ronaldo I don't think that's the case let me know what you think though in the comments below uh, as always I like doing these videos sort of looking at what Gary Neville has because I respect what Gary has to say I think as a United pundit he might be wide the mark sometimes but a lot of the time he speaks a lot of sense and that's why I like looking at what he had to say make sure you let me know what you think about this whole Ronaldo situation in the comments and make sure you subscribe to United People TV if you're new and take it easy